Uh, bonjour. 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 <laughs> How are you? Greetings from Toronto, Canada. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings from Paris. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. Well, one day we'll get back there for sure. But uh, congratulations on the film. Melanie, I want to start with you because I have to commend your bravery for taking on this role. My goodness, if I had read a script knowing that I would have been contained like that for I don't know how long, I would have been like, how much more are you paying me? What was your reaction to this initially? That's what I said. <laughs> I mean, first of all, how much? And then what? And then more? And then, okay. And then, no. No, I felt so honored. It was insane for an actor to have like such a, a gift like this, especially after a three months lockdown, especially after having like all those, you know, self questions about like who I am, should I just make movies? Uh, should we make movies as artists and actors and directors? Are we going to survive to that? Like, suddenly it was, first of all, the idea of making an amazing, great, smart and, and beautiful movie. And then also, you know, like going back to work, going back on set, going back to our jobs. Because honestly, we forgot about that now. But at the first, first beginning of the first lockdown, Making movies were not like in the future and in the in the future project for most of the people. We didn't know what what would be the the the, the future of uh, making uh, movies again. So I was relief and I was happy, and then I knew it would be that amazing director. So I was you know I knew it would be like an amazing experience. It was tough. We obviously talked right away about like. <laughs> <laughs> how to survive, how to train before, how to yeah. just like, you know, like work on the process of making that movie. But I mean, it was, it was fine. Yeah. And Alexander, I want to ask you because, you know, I, I personally think this is one of the scariest movies you've given us. I honestly, I, I just was on the edge of my seat to see how Melanie was going to To, you know what she was going to do with this character for you as a director is it more of a challenge when you sh are shooting in such you know close quarters and you only have you know a, a small amount of to work around her and then to, you have to have so much trust in her and of course she was brilliant so what was that like for you to direct that it, it was um, a big challenge but I have to say that for a long time now I've been kind of attracted to that uh, idea of like that one location You know, like uh, High Tension was in that house and on that night. Crawl, my movie right before, was uh, in that house, in the storm. Uh, there is always like an idea of being, uh, uh, you know, locked into like a, a space or location. This is definitely like the ultimate <laughs> type of uh, small uh, set. But I was also like an amazing opportunity for a director because I knew I had that one location. I knew I had that amazing actress who will take me through all this emotion and through the character. So I could open the toolbox and take all the, you know, like a, a, a cinematographical tool, different lens, different type of camera, different type of movement, different style to just change scene after scene and try to make it like, a, 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 you know, like the most scary possible without repeating myself without yeah. making the same thing. And even if we are in the box all the time, I think we are changing, you know, like uh, scene after scene. And that's yeah. only because we had that continuity, that perfect continuity that, that Melanie gave us. Yeah, Melanie, for you. Yeah, no, I mean, really. And, and I, I hope that you didn't have any phobias going into this. You know, you're dealing with rats, claustrophobia. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. just, just how did you prepare mentally? To play this woman because I was that was not my biggest fear. If you had say uh, spiders and water, impossible for me. But rats and and a box, it was fine because that's not what I fear. So okay. I'm mean, like being in that box felt like I don't know, like a sort of like weird home when you know I had to wait. Sometimes I couldn't really escape because I had like all those cables. Uh, so I had to stay there, but I kind of love the, you know, like it's kind of like making, doing meditation. 
And I think I was able to do that movie that way because of the first lockdown, because I had that time to just like know myself a little bit more and, and just like realizing how much I, I love to be by myself sometimes when I was like doing so many projects and, and always, always surrounded by people. And, and, and suddenly I had like those three months of, you know, like growing food, food and, 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 uh, and, and, and seeing the nature coming back and, and hearing the silence and going back to that box was just a bridge between like two weird, lonely emotions, but it, makes, it, it made sense. Yeah, I was gonna say, cause I, I would think that the being in lockdown and then taking this role had to have been a huge help to you. Yeah, and also I, I was extremely lucky because I was locked down in the countryside. So I was like, like the weather was beautiful and I was outside most of the time. So I took that, I took all those big spaces, um, like pictures that I brought back to my box. I think the, the, the most scary thing for me and the harder thing for me was the lines. The text was like super intense and complicated and like scientist, right. you know, things yeah. to say. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, what else I fear? Oh, and the rage, like how do you act rage and anger? And this is not a feeling I know. Uh, and that was really hard for me. But we talked yeah. about it. And also like when you work with a director who knows exactly what he wants, means you're not losing time with someone who doesn't really know. So when you give it everything, you know why and you know for who. Like making the same movie with someone who just like cannot drive you to the right path or the right road would have been like a that would be that would have been like the the real nightmare. He knew exactly what he wanted. He thought about that movie, and 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 he was sharing ideas and he was sharing like technology, like you know, like movement of camera. And and I'm super curious about that that sort of thing because we we both directors and we just like you're gonna do this, the camera is gonna arrive there, and then it's gonna move like this and so it was also a lot of excitement. Well, you've done it. You did a wonderful job, Alexandra. Thank, Thank you. you so much for this film. It really is just, it really makes you think a lot about isolation and what we, what, it's a perfect time to release this film. So congratulations to the Thank two you. of you. And, Thank you. And uh, best of luck, stay healthy, stay safe. And hopefully we'll see you in person again. Yes, someday soon. very soon. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Thank Bye -bye.